Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Jimmy Adams and Brian Power of WagerTalk.com as we're talking at AAC versus ACC battle, battle of conference here with a lot of A's and C's. That's SMU in Maryland here, Jimmy. 73 being the total, minus three in the hook. That's the Terps' is home. We've seen a little bit of money come in here on Maryland and also towards the over, Jimmy. High total of 73. What are you liking in College Park on Saturday? So I'm going to be riding with that money on the over. Both teams enter 2-0 and off blowout wins over inferior opponents. The value on the side's way gone, in my opinion. I believe Maryland opened at a pick, and they've been bet up to 3.5. So I'll be on the over. Um, look, SMU is going to throw the ball a lot. Uh, they're a team that led the AAC in both yards and points per game a season ago. Tanner Mordecai, uh, he had 39 TDs last season. He has the same skill position talent around him. SMU's um, not going to have much trouble scoring. Defensively, their secondary is weak. They're going to have a tough time slowing down the Maryland passing attack as well. Uh, this Terrapin squad ranked 13th in the nation in passing last season. Uh, Tulia Tagovailoa is going to be able to light up the SMU secondary, kind of similar stories. Um, they do a, Maryland does a really good job of kind of beating up on non-conference opponents that might be a little bit inferior to them in recent seasons. Uh, but Maryland defensively, absolutely no pass rush. It's going to be non-existent. And they're going to have it, like I said, they're not going to be able to stop SMU from scoring. So uh, two great offenses, two suspect uh, subpar defenses. This one has all the makings of the over, and that's the way I'll be playing it come Saturday. Okay, SMU Maryland here, Brian. What are you liking? So, yeah, I can get on board. Certainly, we're expecting a high-scoring game. Neither team they played has really played anybody of consequence. SMU won by 38 at North Texas, then by 29 against Lamar. You had Maryland beating Buffalo by 21, then Charlotte by 35. Can't take away a lot uh, from any of those wins. Jimmy hit on this. Uh, Maryland kind of bullying around some lousy non-conference competition. They are 8-1 and one against non-conference teams in the regular season under Mike Loxley. That includes six straight wins. But none of those eight wins came against teams that I would say are any good. Two, in fact, were against FCS Howard. I think there was one against Syracuse when Syracuse was really bad. Kent State it mixed in there. So this is going to be a big test. And SMU's on a nice 13-1 and straight-up run in non-conference games, going 10-4 and against the number. Uh, SMU's got TCU on deck. Maryland's got Michigan and Michigan State on deck. So from a scheduling perspective, you know, I don't know people, or I guess both teams have uh, bigger games ahead. But with the number now at three and a half, I would consider backing the ponies because I'm a little higher on SMU than the market is, or maybe it's I'm just a little lower than the market is on Maryland. But even when uh, home field advantage is factored in, I've got SMU basically as a pick em. So I, I like getting more than a field goal with what I think is the better team. Okay, maybe look towards the dog here. Should be a good one. The Terps and the Mustangs going on Saturday. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Check out uh, Brian and Jimmy, wagertalk.com. And as we're talking about uh, kind of the lines moving here, you know, three and a half, the total from 69 up to 73, the place to check all that out is the Wager Talk live odds screen. Go to wagertalk.com, click on the live odds tab there at the top. That's where it will show you. So check it out, guys, wagertalk.com.